I'm Eric Novak and coming up I'm going to get my first look at the all new 2018 Honda Clarity Plug-in Hybrid. Due to a combination of both government regulations pushing for greater selection as well as consumer uh, interest and demand slowly increasing with respect to uh, vehicles that run on alternative propulsion systems, uh, electrified or hydrogen for example, we are seeing automakers continue to roll out new or upgraded offerings to meet that demand as well as regulation. Honda for the past few years has made a public commitment that they are going to gradually over the next several years increase their uh, lineup of offerings to include full electrics, uh, plug-in hybrid electrics and they're even still committed to uh, hydrogen fuel cell as a uh, method of propulsion. The Honda Clarity for the past three years has been in the United States as a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Uh, last year they also introduced a full battery electric in limited markets. It was basically a compliance car. But for 2018, Honda across North America is taking the existing Clarity and introducing a plug-in hybrid for wide uh, sale all across North America. We are now down in Scottsdale, Arizona as Honda is bringing media out to get their first look and drive at this Honda Clarity plug-in hybrid and it is the feature of my latest test drive review. The exterior design of the Honda Clarity is certainly designed to appeal to a broad based audience. It's not one of those uh, very unique and distinctive E cars or green cars, but at the same time it does have some uh, aspects of the exterior design that certainly assist in offering greater fuel efficiency. Um, the overall design, it is a, uh, it is a mid-sized sedan. It almost has a bit of a fastback design to it, a little bit higher on the end. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of the cross tour of old. Now that of course is uh, to help with aerodynamics. The most efficient uh, aerodynamic shape we know of is a, is a raindrop or a teardrop and you get that sort of feeling over the side. Um, air of course and air resistance is a big part of what adds to drag. So uh, on the front here there is actually an inlet for airflow and also just under the passenger door a unique airflow inlet and there is also uh, a cover over the rear uh, wheel wells to add in the aerodynamics. I gotta admit, this is the one part that I don't like. It, uh, it's, it's a little bit polarizing, I think. Otherwise, it looks like a pretty normal car, but uh, these covers don't really, uh, at least, appeal to me. Nonetheless, it is designed for overall uh, aerodynamics. Uh, it's generally sleek and um, I mean certainly uh, a good looking front end. I, I kind of like the front end. It, it has an aggressive uh, common look to it. You might see a bit of a civic look to it as well on the front side of it. Uh, good air airflow intakes to again minimize drag but uh, here is your uh, plug-in slot for your electric charge but overall a pretty decent and um, relatively normal appearance on the Clarity plug-in hybrid. While some may point to the Clarity's spacey exterior design, it's noteworthy to point out its spacious interior design as well. Offering 101.5 cubic feet of passenger volume, the Clarity offers about 12% more overall room inside than its main competitor, the Chevrolet Volt. Due to placing the intelligent power unit and batteries under the floor, the Clarity also offers a class-leading 15.5 cubic feet of cargo capacity. Honda says that it's enough to hold four sets of golf clubs, which I didn't get to confirm despite being in the golf mecca of Scottsdale. Long items can be stored through the 60-40 split folding rear seat backs. The front console and instrument panel are modern and stylish with a tinge of minimalism thrown in. An electronic drive selector lies flat and allows for a convenient storage spot below, which is large enough for a purse or tablet. 
The Clarity interior was developed to reduce carbon emissions by adopting both plant-derived and recycled materials. All plant-based materials are made of oils extracted from the non-edible parts of plants so as not to affect the food supply. The Clarity is equipped with an 8-inch high-definition display audio touchscreen interface that sadly is missing the volume knob which made its triumphant return in the new CRV, Odyssey and Accord. The design of the Clarity interior is three years old and would have benefited greatly with the addition of a volume knob over the heavily lamp-basted slide touch volume interface in addition to the new PHEV powertrain. The graphical LCD instrumentation panel above the steering wheel is great, providing a host of performance and other relevant information in a clear and easy to read manner and is designed specifically for the unique driving platform and technology found in this Clarity PHEV. Power output on the Clarity plug-in hybrid is good. It's actually 212 net combined horsepower when you factor in both the uh, the battery and the uh, the 1.5 liter Atkinson cycle four cylinder engine, uh, and it's a 212 horsepower and 232 pound feet of torque. That's actually better uh, in horsepower output than both uh, the Chevrolet Volt and the Toyota Prius Prime. The, uh, the drive experience in this uh, Clarity plug-in hybrid is, uh, is a unique and interesting one. I, I kind of like it. It's actually a three-stage plug-in hybrid system. Uh, basically, most of the driving is going to be done electrically, um, but the, uh, the setup is, is similar uh, somewhat to the way that the Chevrolet Volt is in that there is a 1.5 liter uh, Atkinson Cycle four-cylinder engine uh, that is equipped along with the, uh, the, uh, the electric motor and the battery. Uh, however, uh, only in rare circumstances is the uh, four-cylinder engine ever directly uh, driving the powertrain or, or propelling the powertrain. In the regular EV mode, it's it's purely a case where uh, the uh, uh, the battery and the motor are propelling the vehicle. In hybrid mode, um, the uh, the Atkinson cycle engine will provide additional uh, um, power, but it doesn't do so directly to the drivetrain. Instead, it actually links and almost assists or enhances the, the electric output, much like the, the Volt uh, would do. However, there is a third mode, say in, in highway situations, in cruising situations, uh, where there would be too much of a strain on the battery itself. Uh, it will directly connect and then the engine uh, is running and driving the vehicle altogether. So it's a unique sort of three-stage system uh, that is unlike anything else that's on the market right now. And overall, we've seen uh, driving through at Scottsdale, it works pretty well. The 17 kilowatt hour battery packs in the Clarity plug-in hybrid can be charged up in about two hours using a level two charger, while it will take about 12 hours using a standard 110 volt outlet. Level three fast charging capabilities are not offered. Battery only driving range is stated to be up to 76 kilometers or about 47 miles. And while driving in perfect Arizona conditions, I was able to achieve that distance. Combined fuel economy is a bit tricky to understand with plug-in hybrids, but ideally you'll hit 2.1 liters E per 100 kilometers or 105.8 mpg E. Essentially, this represents the distance a vehicle can travel using a quantity of fuel, or actually electricity, with the same energy content as one gallon or liter of gasoline. Technicalities aside, the Clarity plug-in hybrid showed a clear ability to perform at a very high level of fuel efficiency, while at the same time providing a gas engine backup to eliminate any form of range anxiety that still exists among the interested but non-committed. Overall, this Honda Clarity plug-in hybrid is a solid offering for those looking for a more sustainable, environmentally friendly choice, but maybe aren't quite ready to go into a uh, full battery electric uh, vehicle just yet. It's not perfect. I still think the exterior design is a little bit too much on the, uh, you know, hey, look at me, I drive an electric or green car design and not enough of the, hey, look how cool and normal this car uh, appears to be. I also think we should see this type of technology moving up into the crossover and SUV segment because really that's where people are taking their attention and, uh, and purchases to. But overall, I think this is a really good start. And as Honda said, they are committed to introducing several more uh, models of uh, electrified plug-in hybrid and even, hey, hydrogen powertrain. So we'll see how this first step continues to grow and increase Honda's overall green footprint, which has been pretty strong since the very beginning of the Honda Insight way back in 2000. But that's it for this first drive review of the Clarity plug-in hybrid. I hope you enjoyed it. And from Scottsdale, Arizona, for EnviroDad.com, 
I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching. There's plenty of ways for you to keep connected with me, so check out some of my social media links, suggested videos, and you know I'd really love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel.